Hey everybody, this is Bruce Bishop from The Chronicle, just uh, doing another video here. Uh, this is kind of a repeat of the first one. I'm sorry, we had the scanner on and it uh, was apparently making static under the under the background there. Um, just an update to say that uh, right, Hunter's Chase and uh, Woodland Chase, and there's been a, a very dramatic change in the posture of the SWAT team and officers here. They sent the robot drone towards the house and then uh, the SWAT team immediately moved up to the side along the house and then uh, very quickly everybody just sort of stood up from their positions and, and everything is kind of returned to normal. So it kind of uh, indicates that things have likely ended here one way or the other. Perhaps he's under arrest or, or something else or someone's under arrest. Um, but we don't know that yet. Just that uh, everything as far as the SWAT team goes has just all completely wound up here in just a few minutes time so when you're looking down there you'll see that's the uh, the, the police armored vehicle there in the, the SWAT armored vehicle from Lorain County Sheriff's Department it's in the front yard of the home and everybody's bringing their their gear back now so the SWAT team is all standing down all right, everybody. So again, uh, sorry that the audio was bad in the last feed. I just wanted to to get you guys the set up here so you could see what was going on. We have a reporter on the way. Um, we're thinking the roads will be opened up again here fairly shortly, and then we'll be able to get some official details for everybody. So thanks for tuning in, and uh, we appreciate you guys. Have a good afternoon.